Simnel cake is a traditional Easter cake made with dried fruit and marzipan. This simple version is spiced up with the addition of cinnamon, ginger and some chopped nuts. Now to begin with, I've got some butter in a large bowl. I'm going to add some brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and two of ginger. Now just give that a good whisk until it's really light and fluffy. Now I've got three beaten eggs, I'm just going to add them in a little bit at a time. Now once that's all mixed in, let's add that flour. I've got a mixture of chopped fruits and nuts, in they go, and some chopped apricots. And we'll give that a good mix. And that's our cake mixture ready, so I'm just going to put that aside. Now, traditionally, in a Simnel cake, there's a layer of marzipan that sits in the centre of the cake. This version has got two layers of marzipan. Get your ball like this, I'm going to split that in half. And then just lightly dust the surface with a little bit of icing sugar. And we're going to roll each ball out into a round about the same diameter as our cake tin. Okay, so that's one. Let's do the same with the other ball. So we've got our two discs now and our cake mix. So let's layer it up. I'm going to put one third of the mixture into the base of the tin with the spoon that you've used. Just pat it down and smooth out the surface. And I've lined and greased my tin on the base and on the sides. And then once you've got an even layer, just pop one of those discs of marzipan on the top. And then we're going to go with another third. There we go. And let's put that second disc on top. Just press it in. And so now for that final layer of the cake mixture. And now it just needs to go onto a baking tray and then pop it into a low oven for about two hours until a skewer inserted in the centre comes out clean. Now my cake is completely cooled, so it's time to decorate it. And I've got some more marzipan here. I'm just going to take a section off and set that aside and then pat it into a disc or a ball. And now we're just going to roll that out. And it's traditionally quite a thick layer that sits on the top of the cake. So that's my marzipan ready. I'm just going to lift the cake onto a baking tray. Now, just to make sure that the marzipan sticks to the surface of the cake, I've got some apricot jam that I've just warmed to make it a little bit runny. And then just brush that on top, go right to the edges. And then gently lift that disc on top. Now, at this stage, all we need to do is just crimp the edges just to decorate it. So that's the top ready. To finish it off, we're going to use the rest of that marzipan to roll it into 11 small balls. Each of the balls represents one of the apostles, and traditionally there's only 11 because Judas is left out. Now, that's all of my balls ready, so I'm just going to pop them onto the cake. Now, you might find that little dab of water just helps them stick to the surface. So let's just pop them on. So that's all of my apostles in place. So I'm going to pop it under a grill for two or three minutes, just until lightly golden. But you really need to keep your eye on it. And there we are. It's got a lovely toasting across the top now. And it's ready to serve. It's my traditional Simnel cake.